it's a it's a hobby. So this is this is I get paid to work on this machine. <laughs> PCML, which is based in March in Cambridgeshire, and we're talking about this Matsura machine. But Luke, I couldn't help but ask you to come on camera because you have got so much passion behind what you do and how capable this machine is. I just, I just want to extract everything out of your mind regarding it. So, yeah, for starters, what's your role here then at PCML? Um, basically, my role is to set up this machine, make sure it's running all the time, lights out. How did you feel when someone first said to you, you're going to be running this machine? Oh yeah, I was, yeah, I was excited. It's a great bit of kit. It's 32 pallets, 170 tools, 20,000k spindle. It's, it's up there and it's, it's cutting edge, full five axis. And if you're passionate about engineering and you like this like I do, then working on a machine like this, it, it, it's a pleasure. I, lo I love this. I, you can already sense the, the passion behind what you do. So. Tell me, you know, maybe an example of the machine, or maybe actually let's start off with the features of the machine that, you know, make your life so much easier. When you buy a Matsura, you, um, it's worth working to the strengths of this machine. For instance, we've got 170 tools, so we built our tool library around 170 tools, and obviously our tool library exceeds 170 tools. But the idea is you've got the control in here to um, assign whatever tool you want to any pocket. So you should never ever have the wrong tool get called up and that's, that's what it allows you to do. So when we run our two-part simulation, there's no reason I need to stand here and watch it run, because the tool that gets called up is the one in the simulation. Same holder, same tool, same stick out. You know, speeds and feeds, we're using proven, proven speeds and feeds with proven work holding. We know it's gonna work. So it, you're trying to minimize the man time on the machine. Paul showed me a component earlier, and I said, there was quite a lot of metal removal, and then he absolutely praised what the tooling can do and the power of this machine to remove so much metal out of that. Yeah, if you if you really take the time to look into the modern day tooling and uh, holding stuff available, you can push um, push 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 the proper limits of this machine. It will feed so fast, um, really ramp up them feed rates, take big step overs, um, especially if you if you're holding on to it really well. <laughs> well, it sounds obvious, but like. You ain't gonna hit something if you're holding on to hardly any of it. But obviously with all the Lang equipment we have in here, we're not really limited by how hard we can hit stuff. And is there a bit of a community around this? Because you mentioned tooling, you mentioned work holding. How much support have you had here? Yeah, obviously when you purchase a Matsura and you have tool reps come into, your, into the company and they obviously walk by this and go, oh, yeah, 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 all right. I've worked with a few of these at different companies. Have you got this? Are you using this tool in? Are you using this holding? Like, and you go, well, no. And it's oh, maybe you should use, you know, this brand of whatever. And you go, okay, uh, show us the data for that product. You look into it and you go, okay, we'll try it. We'll try it and we go, whoa, well, actually, yeah, that's really impressive. What we're currently running at is whatever feed rate, whatever speed. And then the guy comes in and goes, use this at these speeds and feeds and see how hard you can push that job and get that cycle time down. So that passion shared in the industry, I, I from what I, what I can see and you know you go to these companies and they're like yeah I want, I, we want to push the limits of your machine and we know we know how to do it because we've worked with other customers that have also doing the same thing we are it's and, like you've got support yeah yeah Matsura are great if you do have any problems you ring them up they answer every time you don't have to sit on hold um, you go look this has gone wrong they go that's your fault. <laughs> Most yeah. of the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And you go, oh, yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> and then you fix it. Uh, brilliant. Um, but no, this machine's very clever. It's got sensors upon sensors. There's, there's things that are built into this to stop people like me making silly mistakes. Yeah. We're human, make mistakes. But it, it is, it's, it's a great bit of equipment. Um, you got. I mean, it washes itself down. It's it's caught through spindle coolant. You can use all the uh, carbide drilling and fruit, you know you don't have to hang about. You can really push the limits of um, production and make you know make parts fast. Luke, thank you. You can certainly see your passion regarding this machine. So thank you for going on camera and telling everyone all about. Hey, welcome. Your your Matsura. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs>